Everybody, your host AMF 1534 here, and welcome to my 500th episode of Let's Play. And such a good way to actually have a 500th episode in being a game where you just kick the absolute shit out of everything that moves that's not good. So, God, 500 videos, and to think that I didn't even start doing these this long or that long ago. Fire. Anyways, um, let me run down the action a little bit for what's been going on lately. Um, our search has led us to St. Joseph's Secondary School. Oh, God! Man, that was... I was not ready for that. Bring it! One down. Ooh. Yeah, you have no way to block. You just don't. Ooh, he can withstand more! Not very much more. Anywho... Our search for our criminal mastermind has led us to St. Joseph's Secondary School of Learning and Hell. Obviously, as you can tell, this place has been closed down for a pretty decently long time. Obviously, because there's nothing going on here besides a bunch of meth addicts and druggies and weird shit. And uh, large containers of probably malt liquor for those without large amounts of money. But with a lot to gain in the ways of alcoholism. But yes, um, so... We're trying to find a Mr. Carl Anderson, who is the man who pretty much has all the, the makings of being the guy that we're looking for as the torturer. So hopefully we'll find that. But yeah, 500 videos of stuff like this. Good, good, good. And don't worry, I plan on making many, many more for years and years to come. Oh, where the hell do you think you're going? Yeah, that's right. I'm not going to let you get away. I'll tase your ass on the way out. Meanwhile, that'd be so tight if you could, like, rip out a toilet pipe or something, or, like, take a like take a sink and hit people with it. I'd hurt somebody running around. No running in the halls unless it's me. Look at this little guy. I'm trying to make it look like he's a student. You're not, you're not fooling anybody. Oh, I thought I could get him. No! Ouch. Well, I definitely got partially the better part of that exchange. I thought I could maybe get to him faster than that. Unfortunately, I did not, and I... Uh-oh. Loose lips sink ships. What in God's name does that mean? Please insert very derogatory um, innuendo-esque statement here. I could do that, but I just don't feel like it. Processing. This may take a few. Thanks, Rosa. Human tissue. Color adipose deposits and adjacent facial hair stubble indicate that these are human lips and facial scan. Also, I've run the faculty list. The gym teacher at your location during Carl Anderson's tenure was a man by the name of Samuel Tibbetts. And before you ask, yes. Tibbetts medical records provided his blood type. It's a match with the facial tissue. So, this guy apparently no longer has any lips, and that's pretty gross. But the question is... Whoa, no! Don't fall, damn it. Holy shit, that guy can really jump. Uh-oh. Oh, I gotcha. Ha ha ha. That guy has got some serious hops. He, like, literally jumped almost all the way up there. And that's got to be at least, like, a, I don't know, 10 to 12 foot ceiling. Good gravy. <laughs> I need a better weapon than this. Hopefully I'll find one. If I don't, this is going to be bad. Okay. Looks like we have two separate ways we can go at the moment. And I really don't want to have to be the guy that goes up this way. Especially because we can't. What about in here? This looks like a room with medkits, which is good, and a sledgehammer. Even more good. Which means we're obviously going to have something to have to break through here soon, and I... Oh, boy. Checkpoint. You mean to tell me 
that there's just a kitchen in the middle of one of these classrooms that there's some dude hacking pieces of meat with. Oh, shut up. Peace out. I'll take none of that from you. Ooh, another one of these around here. I could have just gone in here. But then I wouldn't have gotten my sledgehammer, so I guess going the way I went was a better overall choice. The question is, is what am I going to be using the sledgehammer on, per se? Really? Uh-oh. Oh, come on. These guys are rather nimble. What is that guy doing? What the hell was he sliding on the floor for like that? That was really weird. Wow, that is a lot of just loose bodily tissue flapping in the breeze. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like this room at all. I still want to know what was making him slide on the floor backwards like that without anything... Uh oh Who is this guy? What is he doing here? I feel like I'm going to need a better weapon for this, but... What the hell? Oh, shit. Yep, bad move. I shouldn't have just sat there and watched. Um, I know this guy is here. So maybe we can just get ourselves positioned correctly to a point where he's not going to totally kick our ass. Give me your damn weapon. Okay. <laughs> Who's the dummy now? Okay, let's see. What can we find? This guy is just hiding there, but the good thing about this game is that none of these people hide very well. They're not very... Oh, I thought I had him. Uh-oh. This is bad news. Need better weapon. Like a pump shotgun. That is definitely a better weapon. And it's full. Oh, come on. Good lord. Drug war is extraordinaire. I got one bullet left. Must use wisely. This... <laughs> Seeing a trophy rack in a school just reminds me of Doug with uh, Mr. Bones yodeling trophies. Don't ask why. But since you asked why, even though I know that none of you asked why, it just, uh, I used to watch Doug a lot when I was a kid. And so it just reminds me of that every time I see it. I think there is something yodeling in locker number 47. I don't like the submachine gun at all in this game, just so we're clear. I had that in the uh, in the library last time, and that did me no good at all, really. I it was like, completely full too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh great, just great. I don't take it we're gonna be going in here, cause we're just not. Okay, well, damn it. I feel like I need this shotgun, but I really want to figure out what that sledgehammer was gonna be used for, so. I guess that's going to take priority in this situation. Wherever in the world it is that I put it. Right there. Oh, I just don't enjoy this as an actual, like, survival-based weapon. It's just too slow. Yes, it does have the power. But unfortunately, the power is just not good enough. I mean, it's just not a good thing to use. Unless you really know that you've got ample amounts of room to be able to get a full swing in. Because usually most people can't block that unless they just mysteriously can. Uh-oh. So I take it these doors are now locked. They... Oh, God! God that scared the sh... That scared my left penis off. I did not see that guy come from anywhere. Until it was too late. I could open that door and go down the stairs. Or I can explore some more. I do like to explore. Huh. I just thought of something. I wonder what I'll be doing on my 1000th episode of Let's Play. Cause I, I know obviously it's not going to be this. If I, if I made 499 videos of this between now and the end of the game, which this would consequently be the longest game in the history of mankind, if it were. Uh -oh. 
Get the fuck out of here! Ooh, and he even slammed up against that. The hell out of the way. I feel like I should be able to go under this. One would think. But I can't. Um, unless... Nope. And is this the door I couldn't go? Ooh, no, you don't. How creepy. That's only our second burden. We've been in here for a little while, if I'm not mistaken. I don't like looking at those shadows, though. They're very, very eerie. Let's see. That would be a fire axe room. Definitely don't have any room for that. I see ya. Who the hell do you think you're hiding from? Ooh. I exploded a rat. Oh god. This doesn't look promising whatsoever. I hear somebody. Ooh, I see somebody. We have visual. And I'm not gonna be using a sledgehammer in this room if there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on. God, look at this place. It's blood and guts and spit and ass all over. Like. No wonder why they shut this place down. This place is as dirty as it fucking gets. The Department of Agriculture would have absolutely had a heyday in here if they would have seen the likes of this. It looks like literally World War III happened in there. Oh, no. This also does not look good. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I just had to take advantage of that. I just knew... That as soon as I heard that thing moving, somebody was going to be flipping around on it. That was like a game at the fair. <laughs> oh, this is too fun. Too fun, indeed. Huh? Who the hell is this? Is this the, the, the deranged lunch lady guy? And he's got a meat... He or she has a meat cleaver. I wonder if this person's Russian or not. Like, I'm not saying anything against, like, Russian people, but it seems like typically a lot of Russian women are a little bit bigger. Oh, wow, that hurts really bad. God, this person can take a lot of damage. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. God, this, this person can take a lot of damage. My God. Shit, shit. There we go. Now you're dead. Oh, man. Meat Cleaver City. Yes. I need health really, really bad. Green Archer needs health badly. Or needs food badly. My bad. Throwing a nice little Gauntlet Legacy uh, reference there to you. I am hurt very badly. Green Archer is about to die. Oh, 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 gross. But I get a fire axe out of that, so that's pretty cool. Is that how we're going to get out? Whoa, hello. Jesus. Was not ready for that either. This is definitely an episode where you got shit jumping out everywhere. Be careful. Be careful. The door's open. Okay. Uh, there's got to be a health kit somewhere for Adam. Health kits for Adam, somewhere. Does anybody have health kits for Adam? I see health kits for Adam right over there. Bring it all to me. Yes. Health kits for Adam, this is great. Okay. Now that that's all said and done. Oh, come on. Hmm. That's rather questionable, I think. If a man could block a fire axe with his arm and a small piece of lead pipe, that would be quite the man in my book. Like, I could see maybe that lunch lady that we just demolished doing that. But definitely not your run-of-the-mill little, uh, young... What the? Little, uh, adolescent. Wow. Thomas, you must have been an absolute beast in kickball. Look at that. I mean, not that one, obviously. That wasn't a very good one at all. But, um, oh, I'm getting stuck back here. Get the hell out of the way. Okay. I got a bad feeling about this place. 
Maybe we turn the power on. Maybe that'll be better. I hope. No one can guarantee anything good happening in these places anymore. What the hell is that? That's an arm! Oh no! That's dis disgusting. Oh, I'm going ahead alright. He's got green, or he's got the good stuff all over him here. I can see the light. I just gotta zoom in a little bit. Maybe not. Zoom out. There we go. Transfer complete. It's Timmons. Fingerprints from his personnel file match the hand. It looks like the torturer got to him before we did. Oh man, that's that's gross. So this guy really does like to do some serious torture. Ugh, yuck. Okay, well everybody, this concludes my 500th episode of Let's Play. So, when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Condemned Criminal Origins, the search for Mr. Tibbets continues. Hopefully we might find him in maybe more than one piece, I guess. Because as it is right now, he's already missing a couple. So this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching, whether it be one episode or if you've been around for all 500, that's just great. But I will see you guys next time, and thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys have a good one. Bye.